Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I love shopping and making shop with me videos at like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, World Market, Kirkland's, anywhere that sells home decor because I also love giving home decorating tips, showing you how I decorate my home and showing you all the seasonal decor and home decor at all of your favorite stores. I love to shop around and show you what's new in the stores, tell you about any sales going on so that you can be an informed shopper. So if you love Target, home decor, or knowing what is new at the store so I can do all the work for you and you can just go out and shop, you definitely made it to the right place. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It is Tuesday, so on my channel that can only mean one thing. Today is Target Tuesday, the best day of the week if you ask me, and this Tuesday is no different. I'm so excited because we're gonna be shopping the dollar spot once again, and I'm gonna show you a bunch more of the new fall dollar spot items. So good this year, can't wait to be able to show you all of the Halloween items as well. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. We're also gonna be shopping around the rest of the store, more new Hearth and Hand finds, Studio McGee finds, and some fall fashion finds here at Target. So if you are excited to see all of those things, then just keep watching because we're gonna head into Target right now. There is so much more new stuff in the Target dollar spot for fall. So we're gonna go over all of that first. Oh my gosh. I found some really awesome stuff. Oh my gosh. You guys are gonna love everything. But let me show you everything that is new this week in the dollar spot. I finally found the freaking infamous white gumball machine. I also have a red one, but people are obsessed with these. This is $3 a piece. I've seen people spray paint them and do all sorts and do all sorts of cool stuff with these, but I have not personally found them myself, shockingly. So I finally found the infamous white gumball machine. So if you were looking for this and you hadn't found it yet, I guess keep looking because they are still in circulation. So last week I showed you this pot holder and dish towel set. These are $5 a piece. This one is blue, says give thanks, and then has the blue plaid. Well, I found it's brothers and sisters. So I found this one that says pick your own apples. It has these really cute white tassels on the bottom. And then the pot holder is just covered in apples and it is red on the back. So this is another fall pot holder and dish towel set and it is so cute. The last one is a little bit more plain, but it is this mustard colored one. So it's just mustard. And then it has a mustard and white striped dish towel with little fringe at the bottom. This is so pretty, a lot more subtle, so if you don't like words like pick your own pumpkins or happy fall, they do have this plain mustard colored one. More new towels here. They have this one that says hello fall that has leaves and it is mustard. These are just dish towels. These are $5. Another one is this one that says autumn leaves and pumpkin please and it has the same plaid that we saw on the give thanks set. So those are going together then we have the plain dish towel and yellow with the hello fall set so those are matching and then we have this one that says hello pumpkin and has hearts so we have those that go together and all the dish towel sets are five dollars these two don't go together so i don't know if there's going to be another one but those two definitely match each other this one is so cute i feel like you guys are gonna love that one look at all the jars look at this amber glass jar that they're gonna have this is three dollars you could use all the florals and make like a really, really pretty arrangement. It also comes in a little bit of a different shape. This one's more rounded through the top, whereas this one's a little bit more flat. And this is a clear one, so perfect for any time of the year, but you could also spray paint these. That would be fun. You could also get the frosted glass spray paint, or you could mix baking powder and acrylic paint and make it look like terracotta-y type texture, like a stoneware vase. So that would be really fun DIY. But those are the two vases that they have, and they are $3. Hello, everybody. You're probably like, Katie, where are you? This doesn't look like Target. 
No, my friends, we are in Washington, D.C. But don't click away from the video. You're not going to want to miss the rest of the stuff that is in Target, all the new fall stuff, more fall dollar spot finds. So don't click away. I just want to take one moment to tell you about one of my favorite apps, especially when it comes to traveling. Brian and I travel a lot, and this app comes in so much handy, and you save so much money thanks to our friends at Hopper. Getting back into travel in 2021 I know can be scary and stressful, and you're like, am I getting a good deal? I don't remember what deal were before but also inflation hopper is the perfect app to help you plan your trips for less it's a really cool and innovative app that uses their own data-driven technology to tell you when is gonna be the best time to book your airlines your rental cars and hotels they have all these really cool things on the app built in to help predict when is gonna be the best time for you to save the most money we were able to utilize hopper when it came down to literally the last second our plans literally changed 36 hours before we were supposed to get on a plane to Seattle, we had to go to a completely different place, completely different hotel, and we needed different flights, and this came in handy when it came to saving money. So I actually wanna open the app and show you how it works and how I like to use it. So we actually used Hopper when we were looking for a hotel. So you can open it up, click hotels, and then we were going to Washington, so it's already saved. And then they also have the color-coded deal calendar. Like I said, visual learners, so to be able to see the different colors to see when's gonna be the best time, if you have flexible travel dates, is so helpful. You're able to say like how many stars, for instance, I always choose four, and and then I put the price limit down to like 300 like we definitely don't want to spend 300 but you know I just like to see what's available in that price range they can search for all places you can also set price drops I love that you can look through all the different hotels you can even like pick like okay for instance the hotel Xena look at the different rooms but you can watch the hotel and if the price drops you get a push notification that lets you know right away what I also love is that you can freeze a deal through the app so if you're not ready to book right away say you have to talk with friends or your partner or other family members that may be going on the trip with you and you're not ready to finalize your travel plans you can price freeze on the trip keeping the same price that you already saw on the hopper app and that is such a good way to save money so hopper uses data driven technology and it will tell you if it's a good time to buy or if you should wait I just like how honest it is like they're not pushing you to use it right now if the best deal isn't available right now the app and the people who created it truly want you to be able to save the most money on your travel which is something I really appreciate because it can be really overwhelming when you travel there's lots of options of where to stay When's the best time of the year to go? Money-wise, weather-wise, and this app really, really helps you to nail down all of those criteria while also getting the best price. We are currently staying in Washington, D.C. at a beautiful boutique hotel called the DuPont Circle that we actually found on the Hopper app. I love that we were able to also look at TripAdvisor reviews as they're integrated right into the app to make sure that other people loved it because it's really important to us. We love to write reviews if we really love something, so reading them is something that we love to do when we are going to book a hotel and I love that through the hopper app we were able to save almost 30% on the night that we had to stay here especially because it was so last minute being able to stay in the area we wanted to at a price range that worked in our budget and being able to see how much money we were saving was really encouraging for us and made us feel really confident in our decision to use the hopper app on top of all the money that you can save by utilizing price freeze comparing the prices as well as the color-coded calendar that helps you save money there's also carrot cash that you can earn so Every time you book through Hopper, your airline, flights, cars, you earn carrot cash that you can use towards future travel. It's literally just cash that shows up in the wallet on your app that you can apply towards future travel plans when you are booking through Hopper. Make sure you go ahead and use the link in the description. You get $10 of carrot cash on me when you book your first trip through Hopper. All the info will be right down in the description box for you down below. I just wanna say thank you so much to Hopper for helping us book confidently and save money and find this amazing boutique hotel in Washington. Washington DC make sure you check it out down below especially if you are planning to begin travel again or travel for the holidays this is the best way to save money take it from me get your carrot cash and let's head back into Target and see what else they have in the dollar spot you're not gonna want to miss it another really exciting find are these signs so they um, open up almost like a picture frame they have these little leather holds at the top and they're double-sided so this one says every year I fall for pumpkins bonfires s'mores autumn leaves apples and you and on the back side it says welcome to our home and then they have this white house shaped one that says autumn leaves and pumpkin please with the same leather and then on the back says I love fall most of all both of these are five dollars a piece and these are going to be a very hot 
hot ticket item. So we found more of the bar set. The first item I'm really excited to show you guys is the third drink mat. So we saw this one already that says good vibes and then that one that says happy hour but I did say that there was a third one and this is the third one that says welcome to our patio bar and it is just rust colored with mustard writing. So fun. To go along with that, they do have three sets of plastic drinkware, like martini glasses. So they have these orange colored ones, clear as well as green. So perfectly goes along with the bar mats. You get two little plastic drink cups for $3. Look at these fun ice molds. They have this diamond shaped one. So you can make a diamond shaped ice cube for your drinks. They have that for $3. And then they have the classic round one that you'd put in like I don't know, an old fashioned or like bourbon neat or whatever it's called, I don't know. But they have these big ice molds and you do get two for $3 and these are the two options that they have. So many cool bar items. I swear if you mix this stuff with the stuff from Home Goods, you're gonna have the coolest bar cart ever. So they have this jigger right here. It is like a portioner for alcohol. So it's like an ounce and then a half ounce on this side. Just says double jigger here. And I love the wood handle. This is actually very, very nice. And this is $3. For $3, they also have this stirring spoon. We really, really need one of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. I think I'm also gonna get the jigger. These are awesome items to have if you like to make cocktails at home. The next item is this shaker. Um, it's actually glass, which when I first picked it up, I didn't even pay attention. I just figured it was plastic, but this is a $5 item, and this is so nice to make cocktails at home. I guess we're gonna be having some cocktails because that's coming home with me. Going along with the other bar tools, they do have this $3 peeler. So if you like to do like a lemon twist on a martini or an orange twist on a glass of scotch or something, you can do that with this peeler. For $5, they have this snack container set. This is perfect to just put out with like little nuts and stuff if you're just sitting around having some drinks. You could do like nuts, pistachios, almonds, maybe a trail mix in one of them. The possibilities are honestly endless. You could do candy in here. You could honestly do whatever you want and this is $5. Last week we did look at these bar glasses as well as this little chalkboard tasting sampler holder for the glasses which is cool so we already saw those and then the last new thing for the bar items are these moscow mule glasses these are five dollars i don't know if they are actually this the issue with these is that they are not copper they are actually stainless steel so they're not a true moscow mule glass i would recommend looking at like home goods or tj maxx marshalls for true moscow mule glasses because they definitely taste the best out of real copper mule glasses but if you don't care as much and you just want to go for the look these are a great option these two wireless speakers are new and adorable i love the fall colors they have buttons where you can skip or plus and minus the music they work with bluetooth they have it in this which is like orange and green like kind of like a mustard and then this like salmon-y color with a rust accent. These are so adorable. They've been doing tons of little Bluetooth speakers, but I really like how these ones are more geared towards the fall with these fall colors. These perfectly match these takeaway cups. So we saw this one in last week's video, but they also have it in this pretty rainbow color as well. Again, this lid does come off, so you're able to use it as a little cup on the go. Truly, what a great day. They have this display shelf. This has been a very hot item that people are looking for. I love the two different layers, but I love that there's some good height between them so you can like actually put stuff on there to display. That's been an issue with some of these display shelves that they have from the dollar spot. I love the shape of this one. It is really different than what they have had before. And they do show it kind of all decorated here. And this one is $5. Here is another one they have. It kind of looks like a paddleboard here, but it does have legs on it. This is just a wood riser for five dollars would be really pretty on any countertop just to display little items i feel like for us we would put our electric kettle on here maybe some coffee beans like a little jar of coffee beans or some other little decorative sign such a fun little riser you could also just put it up against your kitchen island and the legs would help to stabilize it so that's another idea for that could also be like a perfect tiny charcuterie board like for two people 
so many ideas. You could easily take the little glass containers out of here and use them on here for different items for charcuterie. You can definitely mix and match these fall items. Behind the scenes, guys, I just set up this whole display in the hearth and hand section. Don't worry, I'm gonna put it all back. Don't worry, I do it for you, okay? I do it all for the thumbnail pic. We are just continuously finding new hearth and hand items. They have this two tier serving tray for $32.99. I love the wood with the look of like the clean black. It's really pretty and it has like a good height here. So you could use a lot of different things to decorate it. You could put this like on your kitchen island with some of the stuff from this collection, these little like sugar things, salt and pepper cellar, salt and pepper shakers. They have tons of options. You could do little like box signs, change it out for the holidays. But I really like this and this is a new item. Another new item that I have not seen yet, but it is very pretty, is this new Hearth and Hand vase. It's really big. It would look really pretty with like tons of florals coming out of it. It's a super neutral color. Great price on this too. This is $24.99 and it does come in two sizes. And then this new little candle holder that matches pretty well, but not exactly. This is $6.99. I love this. I feel like a lot of people might not like this, but... I think it's so pretty. This new hearth and hand chalkboard. It's actually, it looks in person to me more green on the back than anything. This is $7.99, just a little chalkboard. You could put in your kitchen, write whatever you want on it. A new stem from Studio McGee. I just checked because I thought maybe it came together, but it's not glued in or anything. So pretty sure they are separate items, but just this little dried wheat stem and this is $1.99. Another new stem is this one that just looks like it has little berries all over it. One stem is about this big, just to give you an idea. It can be hard to tell like when they're all together, you might think you get more than you do, but this is what one stem looks like for $4.99. Here is another one, just this white colored neutral, just a really pretty filler, and this is $3.99. Wee 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 wee. Fall item alert, this gold squirrel holding a nut. How pretty is that? This is $10. And this is what it looks like. I really, really like this. I love the look of it. I love the color. And for $10, I think that's a great price. Back to school stuff is still unfortunately set up, but we do have our first little like fall display over here in the home decor section. So they've set up a bunch of throws. This one we've seen. This big new chunky knit one is really, really pretty in this rust color. I really like this. This is from Studio McGee and this is $35. Then we have some new plaid pillows. So we have this plaid pillow. It's really, really soft and this is $20. Then we have this pumpkin one, which I really like how like neutral it is, but has the pumpkin. And then I like this like stitching detail on the side here. This one is $15. And then down here we have this one, which has like two taller pumpkins more of like an orange color and it does have the tassels on the side this one is also $15 and these are all from threshold new studio McGee accent rug it's just this like really pretty brown plaid so they do have a little picture of what it looks like just to kind of give you an idea it says it is good for indoor or outdoor use you can easily layer another welcome mat over it just to make it a little bit more decorative just like they have in the picture and this accent rug is twenty dollars we also have a new threshold by studio mcgee candle clove and black currant says with notes of rose and vanilla musk this is actually thirty dollars it's definitely meant to be more of like a decorative candle than anything because of the shape i feel like it would look really pretty on like a stack of books or something that's kind of how I would picture using it but I really like this and this is a brand new fall item that bigger candle also comes in this smaller round version it smells pretty good it does have like the spiciness from the clove I don't know to me it doesn't really scream fall to me this screams more like fall into winter but it smells really good and this smaller version is $15 here is the smaller version of that hearth and hand plant up until now I had only found the big version and then the small version of like the white one or the white stemmed one but here is the little one and it is so cute and only $5.99 down in this basket there's a new studio McGee fall throw haven't seen this one yet gray with black striping this does specifically say it is an outdoor throw so it could be used maybe as like a picnic blanket or just a blanket that you bring outdoors but easily you could use it inside for decorating as well and this is $30 new studio mcgee lamp it has a pretty thick base and it is this like pebble texture 
It's really pretty. It's a very neutral vase and it does have gold accents, but they're kind of hard to see. I feel like this is very like dense. It's not my favorite vase that she's ever done, but it's pretty neutral. I feel like it would match with a lot. So of course I wanted to show it to you. Here is a new lantern as well. It's like a pretty coppery color. We have seen this a lot for the fall. It says indoor outdoor use. It is $29.99 and has a place for a fake pillar candle or a real pillar candle, whichever you want to do. But I thought this was very pretty. I like the color a lot. Trends are just like a very funny thing. Like growing up for me in the 2000s, silver and like white, gold and platinum were all the rage and like gold was super outdated. And now we're in like the 2020s and gold is everywhere and silver is very out so trends are a very funny thing that's why it's honestly important to just do what you like and get what you like because trends are going to come and go but as long as it's something that you really love go for it my favorite candles are starting to show up for fall these are my favorite candles ever they're huge and they're like double the size of a bath and body works candle almost and they are only ten dollars they smell amazing they burn so perfect so they have vanilla pumpkin they also have harvest festival and then warm cider and cinnamon and then good old classic pumpkin spice the small ones are three then they have like a little bit of a bigger one that's five and these ones are only ten so pumpkin spice vanilla pumpkin harvest festival warm cider and cinnamon are the four flavors i see so far and they are all amazing they also have some really fun fall fashion in the store that's new so i wanted to show you a couple things might try something on we will see but they have so so many good fall fashion things in store and I'll try to link everything for you down below if I can I really like these new shirts from a new day this one is like very Halloween and this one is very fall I feel like these would be really cute with jeans and like just slide on sandals I prefer this one probably because I'm not like the biggest fan of plaid I don't normally wear it like that but I do like the bigger stripes and squares I really like this it is like long sleeve or three-quarter length sleeve but it's really hot in florida so maybe with shorts and these are twenty dollars a piece look at these ones colonial woman vibes i mean i like it i would wear it but i feel like it won't be everyone's style they also have it in this black and white long sleeve button down with this frill accent i really like it in this color and these are 24.99 I love these thin turtleneck t-shirts, just like a really small turtleneck and it's just this really nice rib texture so it'd be nice and tight. These are really pretty for under like a more loose fitting vest. They have it in this beige color, they also have it in the purple and in black and these are $12. These are a really good basic to have. Shorts like these and like these colors are how Floridians like myself try to like fit in with all the fall fashion. I really like these ones i've been loving that color a lot this year in the summer these shorts are 25 dollars a piece and they seem like very very comfortable and like loose fitting which is always so nice they also have these new one size fits most like almost like sweater scarves with holes for your arms <laughs> like you wear it like a little coat i thought it was going to be a lot cuter than it was though and this is one size fits most and $25. Just found this little black and white dress. It's actually backwards, but it just has this little tie detail right here. I need a darker colored dress for a funeral, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try on this one. And then I've been waiting for this one to come back in stock in a medium, and I'm finally wearing my denim jacket. So I think I'm gonna try that one on too and see how it looks with the denim jacket. And hopefully this dress is cute on. Here's what it looks like on. I feel like it's hard to like see all the details because it's black, but it has this little ruffle right here and some ties. The sleeves are a little bit poofy. Does it have pockets? It has pockets. I might pick it up as like a just in case option in case I can't get back here before we have to leave to go. So I might pick this up. I really don't have anything in my closet that I think is funeral appropriate. It's all very colorful, so I might pick this up. And then here's the other one, really classic Katie outfit. I have tried on this dress before, but I haven't been able to find it in this color in a medium, which is what I needed very katie outfit like i said so this is definitely a winner i've been looking for this one for like a couple weeks okay i'm kind of second guessing this now because 
I googled it and it said to like avoid prints but I'm not sure because it's like black and white but it does have like a really busy print Alrighty, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's Target Tuesday. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. But that is gonna be it for me. I will see you next time. Bye, guys!